Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariah. Today's topic is the learning disabled youth and the coronavirus. This was a, this was a topic was suggested to me by one of my subscribers. I think it's a very vital topic, but to be honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this um, topic on a video because I wasn't sure if I would have any good things to talk about. Um, but this morning, God um, brought it to my mind, so I thought it was very important to share this topic because normally when God brings things to my mind, um, he wants me to share the information I get from him. Okay, I wanted to mention that I'm still going to be doing a video topic that is on my poll, that is on my poll for on my Twitter page. That has yet to, um, the poll is not over yet, so I'll let you know what the results. Well, you obviously figure out what the results are by my next video. If it's, I'm really hoping it's the ADA and what it covers because I really like talking about the ADA and anything that involves it makes me really excited. So yeah, and first I wanted you guys to know I wanted you guys to know that I hope that everyone is staying safe and um is surrounded by loved ones during this difficult time. And I also really wanted you guys to know that I am so so sorry to anyone that has lost anyone through this um coronavirus, and that I will be praying for you and continue. I will be praying for you and I am praying for you. Um, these thoughts in this video are my own, and it's okay if you don't agree with them. I am not giving out medical advice because I'm not licensed to do so. And if you got, if you need any medical advice, consult a medical professional. And here goes the information that I have that are all my thoughts. I believe that it is important for um, the learning disabled youth to have continue to have a structure, um, even though they may not be in school because of this virus. I also believe that parents of the learning disabled youth need to continue to keep their children in a routine because it's beneficial for them, even though they may not be in school because of this virus. The reason I believe structure and routine are important is because it helps the child progress and not um, slow down in their progress. And progress is always good when it's coming to learning for learning disabled kids because it's sometimes very, very hard for, um, let's be honest, speaking from my knowledge, because I a child that has learned, I mean, a person that has a learning disability, it's hard for me when the things are not in routine or not organized because that's just the way my brain uh, works, if I'm giving my two cents. I also believe that it's important that parents of learn the learning disabled youth to explain to their ch child that um, child that not all change is um, bad. Sometimes change is done for safety reasons, and I think that's important for them to know. It is okay for okay and it's okay and normal for the learning disabled youth to um, be afraid, be fearful and afraid during this time because of the virus. But I want both the learning disabled youth and everyone else to know that it is um, that during this time it is very important to trust in God and lean on Him. Or if you don't know God, just to be honest, just blindly put your faith in Him or trust Him. I think that's a good idea. Um, God knows exactly what he is doing, so continue to trust in him. You're safe in his arm and he will protect you. Last, I think it is important uh, to, for you guys to know it is okay if you don't get everything right because no one expected this to happen. Please, guys, continue to be safe and listen to everything the medical professionals tell you because they know so much more than we do. Um, guys, thank you for watching. I love you guys. Bye.